Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you're new here and today we are doing a full playroom makeover. If you're not new to my channel, you know this front room has looked a couple different ways. It used to be a dining room. We did a full DIY video on that and I love that space, but we have new needs. We had a new baby and a playroom is something that's super crucial for our life. But I will link that dining room makeover video because I have a lot of fun DIY projects in there. I'll link it here if you want to catch up on how we did this DIY wall molding or how we even installed these floating shelves on the wall. Those are going to be staying behind in this room makeover. I'm not touching those. I love them too much and worked too hard to take them down and start from scratch, but we did sell the dining table and got rid of that and are going to completely reinvent this space. Now, the first thing we have to do in here though is clear this out. It's become kind of a junk zone. We have our dog's crate in here. We have a desk in here, a bunch of random things and just junk. So I'm rehoming Bucky's crate. I'm going to be getting rid of that desk and turning this into the ultimate playroom that we all enjoy spending time in. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Allison. I've already introduced myself, but I am a stay-at-home YouTube-loving mom of Madeline, my five-month-old daughter, and then Bucky, our German Shepherd. You'll see him popping in and out throughout this whole video. On my channel, I love sharing homemaking content, especially these room makeovers. I'll link a playlist here with all of my room makeovers. They're like my top performing videos. You guys seem to enjoy them the most, but I also share date in the life content, homemaking things, our crazy life as a military couple, all kinds of stuff. So if you're new to my channel, Make sure you subscribe and then pop down in the comments and introduce yourself. I love responding to the comments and interacting with all of you guys and I would love to get to know you. And um, the first thing you should know about my house if you're new here is that it's always covered in dog hair. If you have a German Shepherd, you know the struggle. So once everything is cleared out of this room, I am gonna go through and vacuum up all of the leftover dog hair. And you also might notice the desk is staying behind in here. I'll chat about that a little bit later. Originally, I thought I was gonna leave it in here so it still is just sitting in here, but we'll address that later. Now, the first thing that came in for this room makeover I was so excited about, and it's these foam tiles from this company called House of Noah. I saw them on Instagram and became obsessed with them. And so I reached out to them and they so kindly sent this pattern over to me. I think it's called the Emily pattern. I'll have them linked down below if you wanna check them out. They have a bunch of different patterns, more neutral, more colorful, all different kinds of vibes. And they gave me a discount code to let you guys use. So if you use code Allison McPhail, you can get 10% off these tiles. And these are beautiful. I'm so happy I found this company. I was gonna get one of the gather mats to be our floor mat, but they are always out of stock. And I love that these tiles are customizable and can grow with your space and also have way more fun patterns. So I'm very happy with this decision. Now, the only thing I will say is this pattern specifically from their brand, I can't speak to other patterns, does not match up perfectly. So the first day of this project was actually spent just figuring out these tiles. Christian and I thought we were working with like the world's hardest jigsaw puzzle and we thought there was possibly like one way for these to perfectly magically line up and it wasn't until I got so frustrated I actually just DM'd the company on Instagram and asked them like hey guys am I am I stupid basically or do these actually have like one way that they're supposed to go and they were super fast to respond even on 4th of July so really great customer service and they told me that not everything will be perfectly aligned which bothered me a little bit but they did say in the message that you really can't tell especially with this pattern and so that can mean just like the peace of mind to know that I'm not going to get it to line up perfectly Perfectly. And honestly, I haven't noticed where the pattern doesn't like exactly line up. It's super, super close. So don't be worried if you're a little bit type A like me with these projects, it's hardly noticeable. And I love this pattern on the floor. actually stopped filming that night and waited until I DM'd them to finish putting it back together. But I moved on to the next project the next day, which is clearing off these shelves. The black shelves looked awesome in the dining room, but they're just not gonna go with the look I have planned for this room. I wanted this room to be a lot more vibrant and bright and colorful than the rest of our house. You know my style, it's very neutral. And this room is gonna be kind of the opposite of that. So I'm clearing off these shelves, dusting them, and then taping them off to paint them a different color. I thought about going with a natural wood stain 
insane, but if you saw the dining room makeover video, you know what a pain in the behind these were to hang up and I didn't want to have to take them down to sand them. So we're going to just paint over them and it actually turned out better than I could have imagined. We went on a little bit of a journey with finding the right paint color. I'm going to first end up painting a little bit of a swatch that's just the same color of the wall it's on. I thought maybe it would make it almost look like it's disappeared, like you wouldn't notice their shelves and everything on there would just be floating. But then later on, I'm going to go back and end up painting it just a stark white color. I had some extra white chalk paint from different house projects laying around and so I just emptied that can of paint to paint them white and it ended up looking amazing because you'll see we have a piece of storage furniture coming in that's going to go beneath these shelves and that's also going to be white. So everything like furniture wise and fixtured in this room is going to be like that bright white color and then everything that's going to be stored and displayed on them is going to be bright and colorful and it really really worked in this space. I thought I would avoid painting this multiple times by doing that little swatch test, but I did the swatch and I liked it, so I went ahead and painted that first color, like the same color of the walls all over the shelves, and then went back in with the white color. So I'm not gonna make you watch me paint these a bunch of times, but here's the first color going all over it. And painting this first coat of paint worked in my favor though because I didn't have a lot of white paint left, and so this coat of paint actually worked as a primer coat for me just to kind of cover up the black and then let me just do the white paint right over top of it. Now I mentioned earlier we'd have a piece of storage furniture going underneath these shelves and I went with the classic playroom choice of the cube organizers. I found these at Target on sale, but I was very close to just buying some on Facebook Marketplace. I feel like these are pretty much dime a dozen. Ikea makes them, Walmart makes them, everywhere has them, and so lots of people are selling them often. And so definitely check out Facebook Marketplace before you buy these or make sure like Target or wherever is having a sale because I think these were like 25 or 30% off when I ordered them, which made it a lot easier for me to check check out. Building these shelves was super straightforward and simple. No screwdrivers or power tools needed, just an Allen wrench and these wooden dowels, and it came together super easily. So I was very pleased with that. It only took maybe 15, 20 minutes to do the entire project, including the time I spent trying to entertain Madeline and keep her happy. It did come with the hardware to anchor it to your wall if you choose to do that. Christian and I discussed it, and Madeline's not at an age where that's a concern right now. And I know that time will come soon, and we'll reevaluate that then, but I didn't want to anchor it to the wall yet in case we want to rearrange this room or anything. Anything. and Madeline is always heavily supervised so don't worry about her safety we definitely are thinking of that and had that in the back of our mind during this project I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that and still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know You 
you guys had to know I was going to do a little something extra to this cube organizer though. It's very pretty and basic, but I wanted to elevate it and DIY it a little bit. So I was looking around and found these table legs on Amazon or furniture legs. I think they're pretty versatile and can be used for like nightstands or chairs or couches or whatever, but I wanted to install them on this cube organizer, make it look a little bit more elevated, literally and like style wise. Target was actually selling a version of these cube shelves that had feet on it and it looked way nicer, but it was almost three times the price of these organizers. So I'm like, I'm gonna do that myself. I don't need Target's version of it. And so I found these legs on Amazon and loved them because they also included the installation hardware. Now, a lot of the reviews were mixed because people weren't actually using the installation hardware correctly. So to first install these, I needed to drill a small hole into the cube organizer. That way this uh, threaded part will stick downwards into it. A lot of people let the threaded part stick up and out and that way the legs don't actually screw in flush to whatever you're installing them to, if that can make sense. I hope it's easier to see what I'm doing than how I'm describing it. But I took a half inch drill bit, drilled a hole into these and then placed the hardware face down in there. That way the legs will screw actually into the furniture and be flush. I think I'm talking in circles at this point. I think you guys are understanding what I'm saying, but I did that for all four corners of these and then I went in and screwed in all of the hardware and it's that simple for the DIY. The legs screw right into these little fasteners and then it's a super simple way to do this. I did have one little snafu that I'll show you in a second and how we fixed that, but overall very, very pleased with this. I think I am gonna buy another set of these legs though um, and do another pair of them in the middle of this just for a little extra support and stability. Now here is where it all came crashing down a little bit. I didn't think about how weak and hollow the particle board that made up this cube organizer was. So when I started moving it around by myself, I was moving it around on the legs and um, you'll see right here that sadly one of them just ripped clean out of the organizer. It was really tragic and I was really upset about it because I didn't know if I should fix this or if it was safe or sturdy. I didn't know if Madeline should have furniture in her playroom that was this flimsy. And so I waited for Christian to come home and we talked about it and he checked it out and he suggested just doing a little bit of extra reinforcement on this. And that will of course monitor Madeline pretty closely. And so he gave me some Gorilla Glue, some super glue, and we're gonna reinstall the hardware on there and then just screw the leg back in. And then to position it and get it back upright, we would have Christian help me and we wouldn't be twisting it around with all of the weight on just one leg. And just to go back to safety for a minute, I know it's probably annoying, but we do wanna make sure that this space is safe for Madeline to play in. If we ever get to a point where she's playing in here by herself or we're concerned about this or whatever, we can just simply unscrew these legs and take them out. It takes about five seconds to do so. So we're not super worried about it being unsafe for her. If we're worried about the stability of it or it falling over, we'll just unscrew them for the time being and can store them somewhere else. We are thinking about that. Safety is definitely a top concern because this room is meant to be played in and used and we don't want all of this to be super delicate, untouchable furniture. But with a super glue on the hardware, it's actually really sturdy and I'm not very concerned about it, especially if we add two more legs to the bottom just to add a little more stability. So that's my TED talk on safety and anchoring furniture and I'm gonna stop talking about that now. And here I'm gonna go do a second coat of that white paint to really make it opaque 
Painting over black paint and dark furniture sometimes requires a couple of coats, and generally on everything I've painted that was first the color black, it ends up being three coats of paint. So be patient, it's worth it in the end, and I really loved how these shelves turned out because it really matches with the cube organizer and pops against the wall. Time to discuss the desk in the room. Now, we love having this desk in here. I usually work at it and edit YouTube videos. We also use it as a changing table for Madeline. And so the original plan for this space was to keep a desk in here. I was either going to DIY this desk, make it a little bit smaller and cover it in a wood contact paper that I found that was really cute, or just buy a totally different desk, something smaller, more compact, but still having a workstation in here. And so I'm taking apart the desk because we were originally, we're gonna just cut down this tabletop to a smaller size. And then I realized when I took it out that the room felt so much bigger and more fun and airy. And so I totally ditched the desk DIY project and had Christian help me carry all of the pieces upstairs. There is one more piece of furniture coming into this space that's going to go there, but I have a new idea in mind for where a workstation will fit in our house a little bit better. So desk is done getting out of here. We are just changing Madeline on the floor in this room now and it's working out totally fine. That's like the little trash can I moved over to the side of the cube organizer. But I do want to remind you guys that it's okay to change your plans halfway through. You've seen me change the plans for painting the shelves. You've seen me change my plans for the desk. All kinds of different changes happen while I'm doing these projects and I do get frustrated because I generally have a vision for the space before I start working on it and it's sometimes difficult to let go of that vision but sometimes really necessary. So desk is gone. We're going to do a different DIY makeover for a desk space somewhere else in the house and I think I'm going to keep that as a surprise until we do that video. But now we have the last piece of furniture coming in, if you can even call it furniture. But I was really intrigued and sold by Instagram on getting a nugget couch for this space, but I knew that I didn't want to pay the price tag on the nugget couches and I asked you guys over on Instagram and you guys gave a bunch of suggestions saying one, they're not overrated, they're super fun, and two, a lot of you recommended that I get the Sam's Club like knockoff nugget couch. It is cheaper. I think they had better color selections and it came way faster than the nugget couch actually ships. So I have this link down below if you have a Sam's Club membership or just borrow somebody's Sam's Club number. I didn't tell you to do that, but I might have just borrowed my parents' Sam's Club number to do this. <laughs> but we cut it open, let it unroll, and then it took about maybe a couple hours to fully puff up. And then we built our little couch. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. If you guys can remember the blue lamp fiasco from a few videos ago, I ended up bringing it outside to paint it, not for the playroom, but actually for her nursery. But I ended up loving it so much, we ended up using it in the playroom. So here I'm just taking it outside and super easy DIY, taping off the cord, taping off the top of the lamp, and then just spray painting it with a white matte spray paint.
I also played with the idea a little bit of hanging this hanging lamp from Ikea. This also used to be in Baby Girl's Nursery, but it fell down in there, and I honestly was just ready to finish this room and didn't feel like tackling another project, so I nixed that idea and just stuck with the floor lamp in here. I might switch it up later on, but for now I'm really happy with this corner. Now won't you meet Styling the room with a couple little decor pieces is the last thing to do, including these massive bookshelves. Now, I've been an avid reader basically my entire life, but I've recently gotten really, really, really into it. So I don't even have all of my books here in California. The majority of my book collection is actually at my parents' house in Florida still. I didn't want to be moving them so much, but I've been slowly building a collection of books here. I'll share my last um, book haul with you guys here if you're curious to see what I'm reading this summer. But I wanted to use these shelves more for book storage and because I wanted to make sure this room was still colorful and fun. I didn't want this to just be the same like tan, beige, black, neutral theme that I have going throughout the rest of the house. As the playroom, I wanted to make sure it was distinctly fun. And it's a little out of my comfort zone to do this, to do so much color, but I thought that the books would be a fun way to do that. And also I needed more storage for my books anyway. So this was also serving that purpose. Once the room was basically pulled together, I also got a little bit indecisive about the furniture placement. It seemed like there was a lot happening on the wall with the bookshelves and these uh, cubbies, and I thought maybe it would look a little bit better if I swapped them in the couch, but ultimately we ended up liking it the other way around, so Christian and I thought about it for a while and then moved them back and switched it how it originally was, but let me know down in the comments if you think that we should have kept it this way. And that's a wrap on this room. If you guys wanna remember what this room looked like at the very beginning of this makeover, it was just kind of a catch-all space, a junk zone, nothing really matched, and it definitely wasn't cute to look at. And now we are working with a really fun, vibrant, colorful playroom that I know is gonna see lots of action. Even Krishna and I, once Maddie's asleep, have been coming in here to hang out because the little kid couch is so comfy and cozy, and it is so much fun to be in this space. I love seeing my books on display. I love knowing that Maddie has special places for her toys. I can't wait to get in here and organize some of more of her toys. A lot of them are upstairs in her bedroom, so I'm going to bring those down here. We can do a toy rotation with these baskets, and also the play mat has been awesome. It's soft and sturdy, and it wipes clean, which is super, super helpful, and Bucky has been loving all of this, too. Sorry he wasn't around for the very end of this video. He's been at a friend's house because we're leaving in a few days on a trip, but that's it for this video. Let me know down below what your favorite part was. Make sure you give this video a like and are subscribed if you're new here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Forget what I told you. Forget all about that.